The other thing to look at on the finance setup side are my GL categories. GL categories are important for classifying your trial balance into how you write your financial reports. So it's a very easy way to take your trial balance and display it on balance sheets, income statements, and cash flow statements the way you would like to see it. So if I look at our finance menu, again, we're going to see GL account categories. And when we take a look at that, we're going to see really a structure of, of a balance sheet and an income statement. So we can see kind of, you know, we have some assets listed. What are our current assets, current liabilities? And we can see over in our categories what account numbers we're putting into those categories. So when we do run our balance sheet and income statement, these accounts then group and get categorized into what we want to see on that statement. So to give you an example of that, let's go ahead and run a quick balance sheet. As the accountant, I can get to that balance sheet right from my Roll Center page. I can also run this report directly into Excel. And so if I have something and I need to distribute this report to people who like to make changes, maybe add columns, colors, uh, do some analysis on the information I'm going to send, Excel is the way those people are going to want it. We can run these reports right to Excel and right from my Role Center page. So if I go ahead and select reports, we'll select an Excel report. We'll have a kind of a list here and we're going to take a look at the balance sheet. So if we keep in mind that those GL account categories that we just took a look at, that's going to be what's going to be driving this formula. Right? So what we also get when we implement the system is a list of default categories. So as we're adding accounts, if we're not sure, we can put it into one of our default categories that the system comes with out of the box that will drive a default financial statement. And as we start using the system and people request more and more information or different ways of looking at that information, we can adjust our GL account categories and push those to our financial statements. Or the system does have something, a uh, report writing tool in it where we can write custom financials in addition to these. So as a more advanced feature, uh, the system has account schedules where we can write uh, our own financials. So what we're looking at here is a balance sheet coming back to me in Excel. Um, today's date, September 7th. And what the system is doing is authenticating me. Right, so it's not just any user. I do need to be a user in Business Central to be able to pull this data out, take a look at it. Now I may distribute it, and those users, when they get the Excel sheet, uh, do not need to be Business Central users, but that initial user who runs the report maybe checks it, saves it out to OneDrive or SharePoint. Um, obviously, I'm coming into this report from the system. I need to be a user. So if we look at what we have here, we're looking at balance sheet categories driven by those GL account categories. Now, if I look down the list here, I may see something where I have a number that I, I want to change a little bit. Maybe there's current liabilities is great, but you know I need some more details here. I like to see maybe my accounts payable as its own line and then group the rest of my current liabilities. So let me show you how easy that would be to just change the default financial balance sheet, uh, de default financial report in our system. So we'll go ahead and we'll close that off and we'll go into our GL account categories. So we go down to our current liability section. We're going to edit this. We'll edit our list and we will add a line for AP, let's say. So let's take accounts payable out and put that on its own line. So we're just simply adding a row within the structure of the GL account category. I give this a name. This could be any name that I that I need. And then we'll go ahead and grab the account I want to associate with that category. So now I'm going out and looking at my chart of accounts and saying, okay, yes, I want accounts payable on this row. I don't want it grouped into my current liability area. And then from a cash flow perspective, I want that account to be my operating. We can then go ahead and generate account schedules from here. This is what the system is allowing us to do is push this out into the default account schedules that the system comes with. So right from my chart of accounts, I'm not going into any report writer. I'm reclassifying an account that then is going to flow into the default financials. So a very quick way to update 
your balance sheets and income statements. So we'll go ahead and generate that account schedule. It's going to take this change, push that to my financials. Let's go ahead and run that balance sheet again. Let's see what, see what it looks like. So we'll go right back to my role center. We'll go right back into our reports and choose to do that via Excel. And as we wait, we'll see, obviously we're gonna have a different category there, but the flexibility there to create your own GL account categories and then just have that push to default financial statements uh, can, is a very efficient way to get those kind of quick reports out to people. Right? Obviously you'll have people and executives in your organization that need more complex reports. The system does also allow for that through the use of creating your own account schedules through Power BI and through analysis views where we can really take those dimensions and do some reporting around that. So some really great ways of getting the data in and as well as presenting that uh, to the people who are using that information to make decisions. So this will just take a second for Excel to open. And then we'll go ahead and enable our editing and enable this content uh, so we can see this in Excel. And there we go. So again, this little add-in is something that Business Central will put into your Excel environment, um, making sure that the person who's running that report has access to do so. So a portion of this also demonstrating the tight integration between Office products and um, Business Central. So there we go. So if we look down here, we now see I have the line for current liabilities, but, but I also have that new row for accounts payable where I brought that out to its own line. So again, very quick, very easy to do. Doesn't require knowledge of a complex report writer as an accountant or somebody or even other people who are working in the accountant department that have knowledge of your chart of accounts can go in here, make a quick change and get those financial statements published.